How do you change the image that is behind the page title? Okay, so the image you're referring to is called the header image here. That's behind the order online page, uh, the my orders page, and the checkout page. So remember, if you want to change all of them, so you have to change them from each page. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is log into the back end of your website, press pages here, all pages. And the first thing you'll do is you go to the order online page. Once you go to the order online page, you scroll to the bottom, keep going down, down, down. Sorry, not down, right here. Um, see where it says full width header? And then press these three lines right here. Once you press the three lines, scroll all the way to the bottom until you see something called background image right here. Put your mouse over it and press this button right here. Once you press it, just change the image. Okay, and then once you do that, make sure to press save and exit and then press update. Uh, this button is important. You have to press this to make a change. Once you do that, you go back to all pages and then you would repeat the process for the other uh, pages. So you're going to do it on the My Orders page, the Checkout page, and the other pages, okay? This one you wouldn't need to, but these ones you have to do that. Um, and then also, uh, while I'm already here, uh, I'm going to show you how to change the logo if you ever need to do that. See, here's the logo right here. Change the logo, you press uh, Divi, D-I-V-I, -I, and then it says <clears throat> Theme Options. Once you press Theme Options, I apologize, not Theme Options, actually, actually it is Theme Options, sorry. So right here, uh, press Upload, and then you would change the uh, logo for that. Uh, but since I'm already uh, mentioned uh, this other one, Theme Customizer, you can actually uh, make some additional changes to the logo. So I press Theme Customizer, and then uh, you would find uh, header navigation. Uh, so here we are. Here's the header. Uh, see, so you can you can see so you can say high logo, uh, make full width. You can do some additional changes. So, so see how we have logo at 62. I mean, this is a nice logo. So let's go ahead and make it uh, bigger. We'll make it um, 80, 90. How's that sound? Oh, actually, let's make it 85. Uh, and then you can do if this since it's not a text we wouldn't need to worry about that but again I'm just showing you how to do that too in case you need to do it um, you can always change that from here once you do that just press uh, publish let me scroll down a little bit so you can see the publish button right there and one other thing I wanted to mention um, <clears throat> is is the um, let me show you something else here uh, I notice you don't have the uh, going back to the home page so that's important to do I I would recommend doing that. So what you would do is you go to Appearance, Menus, and then go to Custom Links, and then put Text Home, and then put a link that goes back to the home page, and then press Add to Menu, put it at the very top, and then press Save Menu. This way, when a customer is ordering, they can always go back to the home page of the website, okay? In case they want to do that. Uh, that's optional. You don't have to do it, but that's how you do that. All right, okay. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.